Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the origin thin setup.exe. Code execution cannot proceed, and this relates to an msvcp140.dll, as well as a VC runtime 140.dll was not found error. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial, guys, for you, and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start off by opening up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one, but for today's tutorial, I'm going to open up Google Chrome, Visual C++, Runtime 2015 to 2019, and just search for it. One of the best results should be from a Microsoft support page. It says the latest supported Visual C++ downloads. Go ahead and open that up. You want to scroll down here. And if you're running a 64-bit version of Windows, you'll select the Time 64-bit version. Otherwise, if you're running a 32-bit computer, you'll run the Time 86 one. Most of you guys will likely be running the Time 64 one, though. However, I have a virtual environment here, so that's Time 86. For like I said, if your computer is newer in the last 10 years or so, honestly, um, you're probably running a Time 64 one if you're unsure. You can check it out. Um, you can look up my channel if you're unsure of how to find that. It's pretty easy. Um, to determine if you're running a 32-bit or a 64-bit version of Windows. You can search that up on your own time. But anyway, I'm going to select the one that's applicable for my computer here. And it just it won't run, honestly. If you know you select the wrong one, it won't even run, so you'll know you have to do the other one. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and run the file. You can close it out of the web browser too. You want to agree to the license terms and conditions and select Install. Select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. And should they set up successful, you must restart your computer before you can use the software. Make sure you've saved and closed out of any open programs or applications before you click the restart button here. And then once you're ready, go ahead and click that. And hopefully once you've restarted your computer, that should have resolved the problem. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.